Omaha or somewhere in Nebraska and how it might work. We're now, well, let's do this first. Do you have the audio, uh, the audio Armstrong? This is the video from on Twitter from uh, Alvin Brooks III posted this up on Twitter earlier today with also Jerome Tang and James Akinjo. I'm doing good. You doing just, you just doing just good? Why are you recording me, Coach? What's going on? You're about to feel great because your waiver cleared. You played this year. <laughs> <laughs> I'll call you right back. <laughs> Who you about to call, bro? Oh, man. oh it's just yeah, breaking man. on my phone. Jay's a kid, Joe. Has my re- dad about this last night. I love keeping weighing heavy on me for real. Let me call you right back, coach. All right, Phil. All right, all right. congratulations, bro. Congratulations. Hey. I gotta call compliant. I gotta call Q. Hey, call Q. Q said he expected 25 and 10 and a photo, <laughs> photo one assist <laughs> turnover. <laughs> All right, so that was Jerome Tang, Alvin Brooks, and uh, and James Akinjo from Arizona. A waiver has been cleared by the NCAA. We had James on when he committed to come to Baylor to transfer. He joins us now live. Baylor, uh, James Akinjo on Sikkim 365 Radio. Can you? We saw the emotion. Can you kind of describe the day you've had today, James? Well, I had a good day. Uh, woke up, worked out, and uh, went to class, came home, and ate. I just got to shower when uh, I got a FaceTime call from the coach. And, uh, when you know, he always regular call me when he FaceTime me. I knew something was up. I didn't know exactly what. So I'm like, what's going on? And uh, Coach Tang just hangs up. Like, I'm going to call you right back. And I'm like, man, what's going on? And he called me back and sang in the back recording me. So I, I didn't know what was going on, but I was hoping it was some good news. And, you know, it was even better than what I hoped for. So I'm just very thankful for God for the uh, opportunity. How nervous were you about it? You said, I mean, that's that was a lot of relief we just saw there on your face. It was it was weighing on you a little bit. Definitely, uh, I was actually hoping that it was the news that I was giving. So I was I was kind of real nervous about it. But uh, like you said, it was a sign of relief that you guys heard from me, and uh, I can be more happy that uh, you know everything fell through. Yeah, I think that's awesome that they they called you the way they did and recorded it, so you can have that memory uh, because it was really cool to see your your reaction and how excited you were. And you were saying you're like, I, I got to call you right back. Did, who who did you need, need to let know about what the what the news was? You have family to call and things like that. Yeah, man, I had to call my family family first. I had to call my my grandma, uh, my uncle, my auntie, my pops. So I had to call everybody. So I was close to my family. What was their reactions? Man, they were so happy for me. Uh, they know I have been working. They know, you know, we all God fearing people. So, you know, we all put God first, and you know, we we just super happy, super blessed for the opportunity. James, you've been on campus now for a, a little bit, so you are now a part of, of course, Baylor University. Now you're officially able to play this year. What has this first, I guess, almost month? been like for you and how you have fit in and and what you now see with this program the coaches and players your teammates uh it's been really good this is some of the most fun i've ever had playing basketball with the way that we compete in the fashion that we do it and the way that we work and it's also been you know some of the hardest working so i'm having fun while working hard so i just cannot wait for the opportunity to get out there and play the game i love how much have you gotten to know your new teammates so far I got to know them uh, a lot. You know, everybody got their own personality. And I was, when I first got here, it was really interesting, you know, learning everyone and learning everyone's personality. But, uh, you know, after getting to know everybody, you know, they all real good people. And, uh, you know, they, they are just real good people. You know, real good basketball players. Everybody on the team work hard. And I can't wait to, you know, step out and go to war with these guys. James, have you seen Scott Drew come in with, uh, you know, a bad day hanging around him or not a smile at any oh, point my. since you've been in town? <laughs> At all, <laughs> when I talked to guy, when he was recruiting me, I thought it was fake, but it's really real. Like he is the most positive guy you ever meet, and it's really fun playing for a coach like that. He always keeps you going, and he don't even let he won't even allow you to have a bad day. You know, <laughs> he'll pick you up. So it's really fun playing for a guy like that. To a man, from players who back when he first got here in two thousand and three to even those who are a part of the roster now or those headed to the NBA, to a man, everybody says that. They don't quite know, and then they actually are around him and they realize he is who he is. And what does that mean to a player? It means a lot. Uh, it, 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 it's 
put in like a sense of trust as in which you as a player and the coach. So when you're out there, you know, especially for a guard and a player, the best thing a coach can give a player is freedom and trust, in my opinion. So you're not playing out there. To, you're not playing nervous or tense. You're not playing trying to make a mistake. You're out there having fun and you and you playing hard for your team and your coaches. Uh, one thing, you know, Coach Drew and, and we've been on here is family. So, uh, you know, I think what you've seen last year, the way these guys play hard, it's not just for themselves. It's, it's for the person that's on the side of them. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's, it's really nice and it's a, real, it's, a, it's a real good thing to have a coach and a coaching staff like that. All right, we heard Coach Tang, 25 and 10. That's what they expect. <laughs> what do you, do you like that goal? Yeah, I like that goal. That's, that's a realistic goal, if you ask me. All right. What what do you see? You've been practicing, and, and the, you know the guard play that Baylor had last year, and some of those guys are back, and you, of course, can are going to add to that. In fact, as Coach Tang mentioned, what do you see around you talent-wise? Man, I see I see a lot of a lot of NBA players around me. Uh, we got a lot of talent one through five, and I think you know me coming in and you know contributing and doing what I do best. Uh, man, I see uh, the the opportunity to have a great season. James McKenzie, yeah, go ahead. Uh, make a deep turnaround like last year, but definitely the opportunity to have a great season. You told us back, James, when you did decide to transfer to Baylor uh, about where you came from and, and your upbringing and, and where you came from near Oakland and, and how you were determined to make sure you did not become a statistic. Uh, on a day like today, does that even add to that even more, the uh, the happiness in your life that, that things can go well? Definitely. Uh, you should see the support that I'm getting from all the guys in my neighborhood back home. Not even guys from my neighborhood, but just from my city. Uh, where did my city hold me down? Where did my city support me? Where did my, my area support me? Uh, man, it's just a, a bigger motivation to get in the gym, work harder, and, you know, do what I can to try to uh, not only do it for them, but do it for me and just go hard as I can. How much better will you sleep tonight knowing that this decision has been made? A lot better. I might even buy a new mattress. That's how much better. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You're going to go buy a new mattress? Yeah. Is that what you said? Yeah. Every, everything new, man. That's how I'm feeling. Man. I'm, I'm just really excited to, you know, but not realistically, it, it makes you want to get in the gym even more now that you know that you will have an opportunity to go out there and compete with your brothers, guys you work hard with every day. Man, I'm just so blessed. I, I just keep saying I'm blessed because I thank God every day for this opportunity. Yeah, I could imagine if this thing would have gone the other way, it would have been hard. We wouldn't have even asked you to come on the air because it would have been brutal. Uh, the, 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 the joy in your life. And there's that word joy again that Baylor brings to their their program. Craig? Yeah, James, I apologize if we asked you this the last time. I can't quite remember, but you've spoken a lot. I mean, your faith is evident when you're talking. How much is that openness, that message of faith, that, that belief – uh, that you can have at Baylor and maybe not so much at every other school around the country. How much of that was a draw for you? Uh, it, it was definitely a draw because, like I said, my family has raised me putting God first, you know. So my grandma, you know, when she really got a chance to dive into the culture and find out what type of guys I would be around, uh, she she loved it. And that's big for me because if I'm somewhere, I got to know that my family comfortable with me being here. And, you know, my family got to trust the people that, you know, I'm in good hands here. And, uh, but playing here, it's not just going to help me become a better basketball player, but, you know, it's going to help me become a better person, a better individual. Help me continue working on myself every day and just, you know, do some good in the world and kind of share my blessings with whoever I can help touch and reach when after this basketball stuff is over with. So uh, the culture here, I, I love it. And I'm, I'm so thankful that God put me here in this place. I believe that this is all part of his plan. No question about it. Uh, can you explain if there's been ever a call like you got from Coach Tang similar to what made you have that kind of emotion? Not even basketball terms. Anything else? Nah, nothing like that. I don't even, nah, nothing like that. Boy, you could see it. You could yeah, feel it. Was it was awesome. I'm glad they yeah. recorded it. It's yeah. very yeah. cool, and yeah. you'll be able to look back on that, your kids, family, everything. I think that's great that they did that, and your genuine reaction. I put, put a lot of smiles on people's faces today, so that's great. James, yes, James, go get that mattress, man. Yeah. Go, go get the mattress. Go, go sleep well. And, and that's that's so awesome to see your emotions, the raw part of it as well, the real part of it. Thank you for your time. And go relax and take a deep breath. But I know you'll go full throttle with energy as well. Thank you.
Appreciate you, Coach. James Akinjo, Arizona uh, transfer. That that reaction. Armstrong, can you pop that up one more time? Yeah, that, that, uh, we have to. But see. his answer to the faith aspect, oh, yeah. I think, was a brilliant answer. And put it on a recruiting loop for Scott Drew and company, mm-hmm, honestly. Yeah. I mean, Absolutely. They can take it and, and use it all they want. Here, here again is Jerome Tang. He talks and calls, and coaches are always talking to the players. Here he is again. I'm doing good. You doing just you just doing just good? Why are you recording me, coach? What's going on? You about to feel great because your waiver cleared. You playing this year. <laughs> <laughs> I'll call you right back. <laughs> Who you about to call, bro? Oh, man. oh it's just yeah, breaking man. on my phone. Jay's a kid, Joe. Has my re- dad about this last night. I love keeping wearing heavy on for real. Let me call you right back, coach. All right, oh. Phil. All right. Congratulations, bro. Hey. Congratulations. Hey, I had to call compliant. I had to call Q. Hey, call Q. Q said he expected 25 and 10 and a photo, uh, photo uh, one assist no turnover. <laughs> All right. Uh, there you go. All right, great stuff. Good, good emotion. Jerome, Alvin Brooks, and that staff. You know how close they are, and to have that on video. Imagine if you would have just called him and told him without it being recorded. In that moment, the explosion. It's kind of like I getting a call from a team at the NFL draft or somewhere like that as well. All right. When we come back, the four o'clock hour, we were going.